Q2 contains a carbon monoxide sensor that should be fully calibrated at least once a year. You can use the smartphone to check when the current carbon monoxide sensor calibration expires. To do so, go to the Q2 settings and tap on Status, and then tap on Check CO Sensor Calibration. If the carbon monoxide sensor calibration is expired, Q2 will report it, and it will display CO and CAL alternating on the bottom part of the display. The calibration of the carbon monoxide sensor requires the use of two different reference gases. A reference gas containing 0 ppm is required to set the offset value, and a reference gas with either 10, 15, or 20 ppm is required to set the scale value. To initiate the carbon monoxide sensor calibration, first you need to connect the KUTU. Then go to the status screen and tap on Calibrate CO Sensor. The offset calibration must first be done. To perform the carbon monoxide sensor offset calibration, select Offset. Then select the exposure time, minimum of 60 seconds. Now expose Q2 to a calibration gas containing 0 ppm carbon monoxide and then tap on Begin Calibration. When a carbon monoxide calibration is in progress, Q2 will display CO and the reference gas value alternating on the bottom part of the display. To perform the carbon monoxide sensor scale calibration, select Scale. Then select the value of the reference gas, either 10, 15, or 20 ppm. Then select the exposure time, minimum is 60 seconds. Now expose Q2 to the calibration gas containing the value of the carbon monoxide you have previously selected, and then tap on Begin Calibration. Warning! If you perform a carbon monoxide calibration with an incorrect reference gas or an insufficient gas flow, Q2 will produce incorrect analysis. Diving with a gas that contains carbon monoxide is extremely dangerous. Recommendation It is good practice to periodically check the functionality of the carbon monoxide sensor. The simplest way to check if the carbon monoxide sensor of your Q2 analyzer is working is to perform a bump test using your breath. According to a paper from Ryder and Choi, the exhaled CO value of non-smokers could be about 3 ppm, while the mean value of exhaled CO for smokers was 17 ppm. Before you perform a breath check, you might want to enable the display of the decimal digit. Now, take a long deep breath, hold it as long as you can, and then slowly exhale into your Q2. If you're a non-smoker, you might see values up to 3 ppm. If you're a smoker, the seal value could be much higher. If the seal value stays at zero during a breath test, you should check that the CO sensor is properly connected and firmly in place. After a breath test, you should expose Q2 to ambient air for several minutes before using it as the CO sensor needs some time to get rid of the accumulated carbon monoxide. Press next at the bottom of the screen.